Spokane, Portland, and Seattle, E7A in N-Scale, is custom painted by Darren Cohen of North Valley Trains using true color paint on a Kato mechanism. We are grateful that Darren has allowed us to film this locomotive before being sent out. This version of the SBNS is called the Broadband Scheme and was the last scheme employed by them prior to the merger into the Burlington Northern with several other railroads. Darren uses true color paint for all of his projects due to their accuracy and ease of use. Darren explained to us his process for custom painting and lettering this locomotive that he created. The following steps apply to this project only. Other locomotives, scales, and equipment types vary in their handling for custom painting work. These are his instructions. Step 1. Remove the couplers and then the shell from the chassis. Step 2. Take off any parts attached to the shell plus the glass from the interior. Step 3. Strip all paint from the shell. I use a proprietary stripping solution in a sonic bath. Step 4. Wash with water and pat dry. Let stand overnight in a clean environment. Step 5. Since this locomotive was stripped of the factory paint, I spray TCP-256 light primer over the entire locomotive shell using a Vega 2000 siphon feed airbrush. This gives a clean, smooth base for the subsequent paints to adhere to. Allow to dry an hour or so before proceeding. Step 6. Spray TCP-048. SPNS yellow at 40 to 45 psi using a medium tip on a Vega 2000 airbrush. Let dry an hour or so. I personally use a higher pressure as I feel the higher pressure gives me better control of the spray pattern being delivered to the model. Step 7. Using TCP 900 masking paper, I place the correct width of the paper to create the broadband on both sides of the shell. I use a plastic burnisher to secure the masking paper to ensure a sharp demarcation of the colors. Step 8. I then spray TCP 047 SPNS green on the entire shell making sure to do all sides and ends. Set aside to dry for an hour or so. If the air horns are also to be green, I replace them onto the shell prior to painting TCP-047. Step 9. Remove the masking paper. Step 10. Since the majority of the True Color Paint Railroad colors dry to a high gloss, the shell is now ready to decal. Using microscale decals, I letter the appropriate locomotive and place the appropriate number on the shell and onto the number boards that are present on front and the rear. Step 11. Secure the decals and paint by spraying with TCP-014 satin finish and let dry. Step 12. Replace the glass in the shell and any other parts required that had been removed and then assemble onto the chassis. Step 13, add microtrain couplers or replace the Cato couplers.